what both of these players are gonna do right now, right here. On what stage is it gonna be on? Drum roll. Ah, okay, battlefield. Interesting. So, okay, no menu at the immediately, start. Immediately, immediately starting with an approach option. And a safe one too, mind you. Don't just approach with uh, dash attack at the beginning of the game. Yeah, okay, <laughs> okay, the up tilt out of field, that is fine. Uh, he, the, the thing is, Hero's normals are so bad, he really has to rely, uh, rely on his MP, on his spell, uh, spells, on his mana usage. But that is gonna get a problem, because at some point, he's gonna run dry, so he has to approach, obviously. Very basic information right here. Uh, over commitment against CSS like that is really scary. You really want to catch, you really want to ca uh, want to catch that roll because you can actually cover flip uh, flip jump kick at the same time. Oh, the immediately with the side B. This is where taking it's a risks. Great, is it's really a really good. great mid range option, and it allows Hero to kind of edge guard people without committing, as you just saw. Yeah. And you know, uh, Hope wasn't necessarily doing that great for that uh, that stock. It was mostly even, but um, Inferno kind of let the ball drop a little bit and uh, ended up losing the stock entirely. And fresh, now he's uh, a full fresh. stock and a half down. <laughs> he he lost the stock the and, half, but... <laughs> and now he's like... He's <laughs> just, just taking down. a lot of damage that, because yeah. of those jumps. That, like, you really gotta be careful. Uh, wasting a double jump is basically asking for getting killed. Uh... Whoop. Okay, yeah, we had back. a short stop. Then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I am uh, sorry. We, we had a so. quick technical issue. We couldn't see the stream for a second there, but uh, Pope is two stocks up. Oh, wait, wait, what not happened? <laughs> you, we we <laughs> blink and the stock's oh, gone, and another stock is gone. Uh, what happened? <laughs> wow. That's ultimate, baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. No, he went to mash out. Oh, that is actually interesting. Oh, well, we see the dash deck. You can kind of see how uh, how Inferno starts getting impatient after a while and just. They thought about the kamikaze there, something. they definitely thought about the kamikaze, you could see it, you could see it. <laughs> I mean, that, as hero player you gotta do that, right? Your character kinda sucks <laughs> until you pull out down B and side B. So, you, you wanna be definitely very a, considerate. A lot, of, uh, a lot of buffs coming out here. Kinda wasted the, uh, I think it was psych up on like sour spot there, which isn't great. But going for the timing mix up uh, with the oh, psych up idea. Almost shield break, very smart idea. And what? a big back air, and that's it. Exactly. Hero kills over. Yeah. So, Hero's areas are kind of like Ike's forward air, like Marth's forward air, etc. All those Zordi areas, they cover a lot of angles. You can't full up at them, you can't trot up at them, you can't run on the ground against them. You kind of gotta wait it out or like hard commit to a double jump over them. And that is the big advantage. You can catch double jumps with them, you can catch full hops, even as high as CSSs. And we saw that come into play right there. Meaning, if Hero actually has the distance, and has nuts like has gotten enough space from CSS. He can really set up a defense, but that obviously doesn't last long. So simply because of his frame data, he can keep out CSS maybe once or twice, and then the distance is closed. So essentially, all he does is buying himself some mana points. He's buying himself some time just so he can set up another spell, and that is basically the core of this matchup, as far as it looks like. Yeah, definitely, and I think. Just the fact that instead of trying to edge guard ZSS most of the time, uh, he only really went off stage as a mix up in that first stock. Uh, and he just kind of threw ZSS off stage, knew she was going to recover, and ran to the other corner of the stage and got menu. Because that menu is kind of what Hero needs in order to compete with ZSS at like a close range. He needs yeah, to hit exactly. like a he needs to hit like a heavy when he's got uh, oomph and psych up ready, you know. Yeah, exactly. Um so it was good menu management. Uh, and he did a good job of keeping ZSS kind of at bay with big hits and giving himself time to use menu and charge a neutral B and charge uh, side B when, when he needed to in neutral. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we got the stage picks coming in. So, Hope is up 1-0. This could go very, like, this could go over very quickly. And it will go over very quickly. These characters can destroy each other. Hero simply for being hero, ZSS for being, well... CSS, fast-paced, strong characters, one hit and run, one zoning with huge damage output and kill potential. So this could be over in the next three minutes. <laughs> Literally, we could be on mute very quickly here. How is the bracket looking, by the way? Loser's bracket, lagging a bit behind. Oh, okay, it's gonna start up right away. 
Well, not much bracket talk then, I guess. <laughs> no, not much. <laughs> nah. Uh, let's see what we've got. What stage pick are we going for? Maybe something a bit bigger for... Actually, no, DSS wants something kind of small, but went for PS2. Uh, very low ceiling. That's kind of ideal for, for ZSS Possibly, in this yeah. matchup. We can... Oh, you're giving him too much space right now. You want to stay closer. He got back into center. You want to stay... Like, you want him to stay in the corner so you can basically keep playing at the range you want to play at. Relatively close to them. Not that far away, so he can't set up his spells. Ooh, scary. Already even. Smart to read the cross-up with the forward air there. And almost pushes the advantage off stage. He's a uh, pretty decent percent now. He wants to go for trades, definitely. He was willing He was willing to just stand there. <laughs> he had no just fear. stand there and wait. <laughs> I think he tried... Uh, yeah, he, he might have tried to bait... Uh, to bait Hope into thinking he... Uh, I'm sorry, to bait Inferno into thinking he has the menu out. But I doubt that worked. Okay, so yeah, this is the range you want to play at, but that Nair into buffer down B was a overcommitment, but online it's just hard to react to it, so you can't even really blame him. But it's reactable, it's just difficult, but you can do it. Yeah. It's uh it's good from uh it's good from hope. Mostly. Very willing to just kind of stand there and say, okay, you approach. You approach. Yes. I'm okay, gonna we... try and swing with my big sword and you Yeah. You you can already see how Hope is really trying to slow down the game right now. Staying in shield for longer because he knows Inferno's gonna try and hit the moon and he's gonna try and hit the rolls, the jumps. And he also knows that ZSS has to grab if he stays in shield. And if he can get that, he has more time to set up his slow aerials, his keep out game. And yeah, you can really see it. He's even using the platforms as coverage, which is really smart. Tweak does this a lot. Zachary as well. I analyzed them a lot. Yeah, definitely versus uh, flip jump, the platforms are. A very good coverage. You don't get flip stalled as much. Uh, and the hitbox Ooh. can reach through, but it's a bit of a risk. Yeah. It's a nice side B there. It is a, a lot of range. And now Hero has some ability to compete with ZSS a little bit. Uh, it must be hard to lab Excel. Oh, 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 down throw, jump, jump, Excel. Uh, jump, jump, Accelerate. forward air. Yeah. He did lab. He did lab Excel. Oh, 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 crit. No, he's just going to go for the side B. He's not going to risk it. <laughs> that, that, is, that does 50% better. Yeah. Yeah. That is so silly. Hmm. He got three She's hits got and no he's a jump, 77. But, uh, he's, nah, I mean, he's not challenging. It's CSS. You can always yeah. Uh, hmm. yeah, he's just going for a lot of option coverage right now because it, it seems that it seems that Hope is getting a bit more. Well, he's getting a bit more confident. He's moving more again, so Inferno can start going for this option coverage, movement coverage, playstyle again. Oh, scary! Yeah. Ooh, it's just, what a Okay, what a that's brilliant nice. bait! Going just above the platform to to bait uh, Inferno into rolling in and then yes. punishing with the up smash. That was a that was absolutely cool. phenomenal read because oh, flip still not working there. That's that's a oh, pain. Damn. Nice conversion, but not really. Oh, uh, both giving each other a lot of stage. I doubt that you want to stay that far back because you're cornering yourself and being cornered as hero. Talked about that earlier. You don't want that. CSS can control the game way too much, and you can kind of see it. Hope is like this is a lot of momentum swings we have going on right now. Definitely, Oops. yeah. That's kind of the balance with menu is you do have to corner yourself to find time to use it, but how good is that? Ooh. Is like a trade off. I like the bounce. The it's like great in this matchup, but it just reduces the amount of neutral if you have to worry about. And oh, damn. yeah, very active hitbox. <laughs> good at covering uh, neutral get up and good at covering uh, jump get up and uh, double jump.